Hello, and welcome to Win Automation Tutorials. I'm Tyler. This video will be going over web automation. When using Win Automation, you can use web automation for many things, such as data extraction, site navigation, and filling in web forms. It's a great action set to know and can be very powerful to use. Most of the time when I open up Win Automation, it's because of web automation. So let's get started. All right, so before we can jump into setting up our web automation, wind automation process, you first need a website that you can automate. So I'm gonna be using the chat mode website, um, chatmode.io. Um, and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be doing three things. We, we want to do data extraction, website navigation, and web form inputs. So. Uh, now that I've chosen my website, we can hop on into Win Automation and start the process building. So, if you've never been into Win Automation, this is the console. I have some processes already built here, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click uh, Control N or just click this New Processes button, um, and you're going to want to name your new process. So, I'm going to name mine Chat Mode Website. And then what you're going to want to do is there's many ways to start building your process, but what you're going to want to do is click web recorder. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a automation tool for you um, where it's going to want you to specify your browser instance. And this is just a really fast way to set up a win automation process. So I'm going to be using Google Chrome and I'm going to be automating the tab. You, you can see you have some options of whatever tabs you have open. I'm going to be automating the chat mode tab that you just saw uh, previously. So I'm going to click OK and what's going to do is it's going to open up that chat mode tab and I'm going to have this live web recorder feature. So I personally want to do three things while I'm on this website. Uh, like I said, I use Win Automation to do things on web extraction all the time. And what it's really good at doing is uh, extracting URLs um, and essentially making tables. So you can, what you'll be seeing here is I'm going to set up the automation right now to extract this section for me into a table because maybe I'm, I'm on a website and yeah, I can go through all of these partners and get all of this information, maybe copy and paste it to an Excel spreadsheet really quick, but maybe you go to a website and there's like, 50 or 100 employees, maybe you go to the Microsoft MVP section where there's thousands of people and you just need to get that data. So what you can do is you can use this web recorder and you come to an element that you like and you right click it and you go to extract element value. So I'm gonna do just the title, um, the text. So I'm just gonna click that. Uh, and then I'm gonna do that for every one of these and you'll see something that happens. So now that I've selected two of the same uh, P element, uh, a lot of websites are structured in a way that they'll uh, easily be able to grab uh, the object element in an array. So uh, this web recorder is smart enough to know that if I grab two of these uh, titles, so head of consulting, head of engineering, uh, head of operations, it's gonna start to group these uh, for you. And it, you can see this in a list now. So here's the titles that I just grabbed. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing for our names. So I'm just going to grab text and it's smart enough to know that, oh, if they did uh, a list uh, type concept for this element and they're grabbing in the same object, you're kind of going to probably want to list element to these as well. So it does that for us automatically. And now it's starting to create a table. I'm just gonna lastly do it for this uh, anchor and I wanna grab the href. Hopefully that'll just go directly into the table. And it does, so now we have all of our LinkedIn's and just to get fancy, let's see if we can do it. I think we can, let's just grab our images. Yeah, why not, cool. And that worked too. So yeah, we get all of our images, we get all of our LinkedIn's, and that's all now nicely in a table. It looks like it did grab some images that are up above, but that's okay, we can clean that out later. It's not really important. But the cool thing is that uh, we got a table um, and we extracted this data. So if there was a lot of people, you just instantly made a uh, CRM type table. 
uh, in about, I don't know, a minute. Um, so moving on to step two, uh, let's say we extracted, we right clicked all the things and extracted the values or extracted the elements. Um, you, there's a lot of different ways to extract um, useful information from a website using this web extraction tool. Um, but I'm just gonna currently show you to make this table. Um, and now we're gonna move on to phase two of the operation, which is navigation. So another handy thing that your web automation can do is maybe the website, uh, the current page that you're on on the website doesn't have the information you want. Uh, in this scenario, uh, it doesn't. We don't have a web form on this page that I know of, no we don't. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually right click now on this uh, icon, which should be recorded. It says click on, yeah, so it says click on the set element description. So it logged which element I clicked on and it uh, logged that click. And we now actually moved to a different section of the website. And that's actually, actually gonna be remembered in the bot and uh, it can do that click live uh, later on. And why we want to navigate uh, to the front page or the main page is because the main page has this web form and now we get to move on to step three which is web forms and uh, more advanced inputs so as you can see as I'm hovering hovering over this um, this has an h2 element uh, that's a common uh, header element this is a image uh, this is a label so these are text right but as, I, as you can see, I have over this, this is input uh, text. So this is actually expecting for an input. So I, if I click this, I believe what it'll do is it'll open up an input and I can just type in what I want. So I'm just gonna say Tyler Odenthal and I will let that go. So it says populate name, this name element with Tyler Odenthal. And I can do uh, chat mode, IO. Actually, we'll just do chat mode. Chat mode's even cooler. And then we'll go, come off of that as well, and it'll remember that. And then I'll just t drop in my email, mode.io, and we just click off of that as well. And it also remembers to populate that section with the email. So it remembers which elements you can also input text into. So let's say you have a lot of websites and uh, the websites are generally generic and they all have a similar form that looks like this a lot of wordpress sites uh, actually have a very similar uh, object structure because it's just kind of like the basic wordpress form layout so you could just uh, automate the input of hundreds of websites with these uh, wordpress forms and just uh, get all these company briefings sign up to their email lists if that's something that your company does and uh, I'll just click the download button now and it should just remember that I pressed download uh, and it'll submit that form. So now I get to download this PDF. Um, this tutorial doesn't go into uh, extracting PDFs, but maybe later on I will. Uh, but as you can see, I now just used the whole process to essentially uh, extract data from a website, um, navigate the website, uh, fill in a web form to generate a PDF. Um, and if I even wanted to go further, I could even have the bot uh, extract that PDF and maybe even email it to me. But I believe this web form essentially does that. So when I click finish, it's gonna actually build this uh, win automation process for me and it's gonna pull it up, right? So what's really cool is that now I have this win automation process uh, and I can save it which i will and i can run it at any time so as you can see what it says here is that it's going to launch a new chrome it's going to go to this website page it's going to extract this data into an excel um, it's going to click on the div header uh, it's going to input these things it's going to click the download button and then it's going to go to the chat mode website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some little delays in here so you guys can see it working in action. Um, maybe not five seconds, two seconds. And we'll just uh, give it a good old time. Control C, Control V it. Maybe down. Don't really need to change anything at the moment. 
just want to slow it down so we can see it. All right, cool. So what it's going to do, I'm just going to close this out and we're going to just start it. So what it's going to do is it's going to launch Chrome. Let's start it over here. It's going to launch Chrome. It's going to go extract that data. And then it's, yeah, I mean, wow, it's super fast. It's already done actually. So extracted that data, <clears throat> it put it into an Excel spreadsheet. <coughs> it even opened up the Excel spreadsheet for me, like right after. And here's all the stuff that it got. It got all of our titles and positions, our LinkedIn's. Um, and like I said, I can even get more information. You can come back to the process. You can actually see what it did live here. Um, here's all the elements that it gathered uh it says it it got some variables it said it made an excel instance and it also remembers what browser we used um, it also logged all the controls so you can later access the controls um, but none of that's really important to get yourself started essentially all you re really need to do is just kind of watch what i did um, and the complexity of it isn't very complex so Hopefully uh, this gives you a little insight how to uh, use Win Automation and Web Automation in particular, which Web Automation is this section. So all of the tools that are in this section, I know I didn't come to the actions panel to really build this. I used the process builder to build it. But all of the things that you saw me do are inside this little folder right here. Um, so I clicked on, I clicked on links, which you can see right here. It got captured and created it for me. I go to a web page, which you can see right here. Um, I launched the Chrome, which you can see right there, uh, populate texts, which is probably down here somewhere. Um, but you get the picture, you can extract data. So if you wanted to use the process designer to do a more methodical build, you can also do that. Um, but I just wanted to highlight some of the features that I currently use uh, in this web automation folder. So I hope you found it useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and until next time, bye-bye.